As someone who doesn't have the space for a CRT display in my apartment, I rely on video transcoders to enjoy and record footage from my vintage consoles in my living room. The Coreu is a video transcoder which converts composite NS video signals to component video. When used in conjunction with another transcoder like the OSSC, the Coreu adds flexibility and convenience to a living room setup like mine. The Coreu is powered by an Atmel Atmega 328P microcontroller, which has its own onboard storage. To update the firmware on the Coreu, we need to program the microcontroller itself. The software recommended for flashing the microcontroller has a native Linux version, and the user interface for the Windows version runs on Ubuntu-based OSs under Mono, so we have everything we need to flash this new firmware. For this video, I will be following the firmware update directions from junkerhq.net. Links to all web pages mentioned here will be in the video description. First and foremost, make sure your programmer is set not to provide power to the core you. This is often done via a jumper on the programmer itself. On mine, I simply removed the jumper entirely. To set up your software environment, follow the instructions on the GitHub page for AVRDudeSS, the GUI recommended for the update. Start by installing the mono component needed for the GUI. You can install the full set of mono packages if you'd like. Then, install the Linux version of AVRDude, the actual program which will perform the flash, and AVR bin utils. Don't forget to download and extract the latest CoreU firmware files from GitHub as well. Plug your programmer into your PC and make sure the power light illuminates. To make the flashing process easier, run dmessage and pipe the output to grep, searching for TTY, to determine which port your programmer has been assigned to on your system. Download the latest release of AVR Dude SS and extract the folder somewhere, then enter the extracted folder in the terminal and run mono AVR Dude SS.exe. In my case, I ran the command with sudo. You may prefer to run the program as yourself. If you do, make sure to update any relevant permissions and rules to allow access to your programmer. Before we continue, let's connect our programmer to the core U. Check again that your programmer is not delivering power to the microcontroller, sometimes referred to as target mode. My board is well labeled, so I was able to verify there was no voltage present on my VCC line before proceeding. I would recommend checking this yourself as well. Next, we need to check the orientation of our programming cable and connect it to the core U. The transcoder should be off, if it isn't already, before continuing. Check the photo on Junker HQ's webpage and orient the programming cable so its VCC pin is connected to pin 2 of the Coreu. Once you've made the connection, double check your work once again. The VCC pin from the programmer should be connected to pin 2 of the appropriate header on the Coreu. In addition, your programmer needs to be set to use a 5 volt logic level if the logic level is set via the hardware. I did not have to do this on my programmer, but I'd be remiss if I didn't include this step. If you're certain everything is set up correctly, you should be ready to turn the core you on and return to your PC. If AVR Dude SS is running already, choose your programmer, in my case USB ASP, and the port it's assigned to. Then click Detect in the MCU section, and the Atmega 328P should show up. If not, stop here and run through all the previous steps to make sure everything has been set up correctly. Next. Choose the appropriate CoreU firmware file from your PC in the Flash section of the interface. As of version 1.1, there are two releases per version, Default and NTP. NTP disables the test pattern displayed when the CoreU has no input signal, which may be useful if you use an automatic input selector in your setup. Otherwise, the default release is recommended for most users. Finally, cross your fingers and click the Go button under the Firmware File field. You'll see some output from AVR Dude in the bottom section of the window. The firmware will be written to the microcontroller, then read back and compared to the firmware file on your PC to ensure it was written correctly. If everything went according to plan, you should see that the flash was verified successfully, and you can turn the core U off and disassemble your programmer. Congratulations! Go set your core U back up with your consoles and enjoy the stable frame order and default input options in the new firmware. I know I will. Now get out there and play some games. If this video was helpful, please let me know by leaving a like or a comment. If you know anyone who could use this walkthrough, please share it with them, or feel free to link to it on a forum or other page where people will find it. I hope this guide will be helpful to the vintage gaming and open source communities.
Thanks for watching and for your consideration.